Rosemary's Baby was directed by Roman Polanski and stars Mia F as this mother, this uh, mother named uh, Rosemary, and uh, she has a husband. And the story basically is about basically about like uh, this woman known as Rosemary and her husband live a great life with great friends and relatives. And one day, one in particular day. Something really goes down. So Rosemary finds out that she's pregnant, but which also leads her to have some concerns about some certain things that have been going on with women and their child and stuff like that. Like, she finds out all of a sudden that there are these crazy people who do these terrible things to these women who have certain babies and stuff like that. And it's something very religious and something very wrong. And she has to try to protect her baby from these crazy citizens. I love this movie. I mean, come on, there are some people, but there, but there are some people out there that m might not appreciate and like this movie. But this is Rosemary's Baby. It, it, it's a freaking classic. It's a classic psychological horror film. And it deserves to be recognized. This is a horror movie that's done right. It's not any of those um, over-the-top cheesy horror movies that will have like those um, uh, some good amount of suspense but some cheesy jump scares like a person will bump into someone and be like, oh, oh, you scared me. No, this isn't any of that at all. This movie deals with psychological suspense and this entire movie does it Top notch. It's perfect. The suspense is so psychological. It's scary. It really is. Now let me talk about some actors in this movie. First off, Mia Farrow. Excellent. Excellent actress. She definitely... She surprised me in this movie. Her role as Rosemary is just a special performance. She's just a heartwarming woman who's confused on all these events that happen and stuff like that between women and their uh, babies and stuff like that. And she just wants to try to protect her child from these crazy citizens. Yes, I did mention this is a horror film. And you're not gonna get like, a, like suspense suspense, like, like people stabbing other people with knives and a lot of blood, no. But this movie is still scary. If you watch this movie and if you pay, you have to pay close attention on how scary this movie is. There's a lot of suspense in this movie. And when I say suspense, the suspense is just psychological. It's not like just there's just jump scares like boom in your face. It's it, You want to think about it when you see this movie. Because all the suspense in this movie, it's so psychological. And it's perfect and scary. The acting in this movie is top notch. The directing is actually pretty impressive. The storyline was pretty good too. The ending of this movie has some of one of the greatest endings in all of horror movie history. I'm not going to spoil the ending for you just in case if some of you viewers haven't seen this film. Definitely check it out after I'm done reviewing this movie. But the ending has one of the some of the greatest endings in all of horror movie history. It's scary and you need to understand on why this movie's actually scary. And yes, Rosemary's Baby was released in 1968, so it's a late 60s movie. And still today, it's still a very profitable horror movie today. It's a very important horror movie still. Every character in this movie and every actor in this movie, they put a lot of characterization, characterization in every character that they play. And I was shocked by the characterization and storyline in this movie. And the acting. It's top notch. All of it... This movie is so beautiful. Even for a 60s movie, it's still beautiful today. And I really wanted to know everything what was going on in this movie. And you know what? It's insane on what happens. When you think about what happens in this movie, it's just... It's, it's crazy. And you don't pick it up until the middle of the movie. And it's just a great running time. A great running time. And along the way, you have some other actors who play some amazing, fascinating characters. You have Ruth Gold, John Cassavetes. Maurice Evans, and all the other actors in this film did a fantastic job. And yes, I am about to get into, um, talk about the citizens in this movie. These crazy people, I'm not gonna spoil what happens, but what they do to these babies are just insane. 
If you haven't seen this movie, I'm not going to spoil anything. Definitely see this movie after this review. But these people, they're insane and they're sick people that do these awful things to wives and their babies. And it's mind-blowing. You want to think about what actually happens in this movie before you say, Oh my gosh, that was boring. Because no, it's not boring. It's really fascinating and interesting and it's scary. Really scary. But no, this movie is not the scariest movie of all time, but it is scary, still. And you have certain scenes where, like, Rosemary's having, like, this sort of baby shower, I think that's what it is, and she invites all her friends and stuff like that over, and the characterization, like I said, it's amazing. The characterization on how they talk about each other's lives and stuff like that, it's just very interesting to learn about Rosemary and her relatives and stuff like that, even her husband, which is... A uh, sort of a quiet mouth sometimes, but he did a fantastic job. It's just everything in this movie I absolutely love. I, I, I really don't hate anything about this movie. But the baby shower scenes were good. There were even some scenes where the citizens tr literally try to drug Rosemary. And my jaw was like, like seriously. And I was more scared because this could be some stuff that could actually happen. The house that they're in, it's creepy enough. The setting is just phenomenal. It's really phenomenal. Like, there are some times where I've been creeped out by the setting and the background and stuff like that. And where this, the people, the crazy people, just, like, they're just there. And it's sometimes, like, during the, sometimes during the ending of the movie, the people are there. And when all of them are there, you're just like, what's happening? And Rosemary is just confused and nervous on what's going on. Until she finds out about these crazy people. This has to be one of the su most successful horror movies ever made. It's still good today. It's not good. It's fantastic. There are many things in this movie that caught my attention and will probably catch your attention too. And if you're a huge fan of psychological horror films, definitely check this one out if you haven't seen it. And if you haven't, what are you doing? Like seriously. Um, what are you doing? I have nothing else to say. I'm literally out of words because this is a movie that I think everyone should see at least once. It's a great movie. And if you haven't seen this movie and you're watching this review, you think, you may think that Rosemary's Baby is one of those, like, movies about, like, like, like slashing and it's, a, you might think it's a slasher film, stabbing with knives and, like, killing with axes and other weapons and stuff like that. It's not. It's not the kind of horror movie this is. It's a very suspenseful movie in psychological form. You need to think about why it's scary before you say it's not scary, because this movie does catch your attention, and you have a lot of fear. I, I even had a lot of fear in me when I saw this. And you want to think about the scary things that are happening, and you'll be like, wow, that's scary. I'm also going to let you know this is a 60s movie, and usually some movies that come around this time period are usually black and white. This movie is not black and white at all. So if you have problems with black and white movies, uh, don't, you, don't have to worry, you don't have to worry about Rosemary's Baby. The entire movie's in color. But if you do hate black and white, I'm just saying, why? I mean, there are some great black and white horror movies out there, and not just black and white horror movies, but black and white movies in general. Maybe Psycho, um, Frankenstein, I'm just saying, you're missing out. But if you, if you haven't seen this movie, and if you do watch this movie after you review, and if you do find it boring, if I were you, I would watch it again. But the second time, pick up on more things. Pay close attention on what happens in this movie, because you will be surprised. And I'm not trying to waste your time considering this movie is two hours long. And yes, the two hours, this two hour movie is worth the watch. I have to say, Rosemary's Baby is definitely one of the most profitable horror movies of all time. It's definitely, what, what, it's definitely a successful horror movie that I think everyone should see at least once. And it's, it's just a, such a, it's such a great movie. It's so unforgettable. The stuff that happened in the movie are so unforgettable. And they're insane. What these people do... In this movie, they're like, what happens in this movie in general? It's insane. And if you think this movie sounds bad, guess what? It won an 8 out of 10 on IMDb and a 99% score fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. That's almost in 
And that's really impressive. So yes, this movie, it does prove that this movie is a fantastic, successful horror movie. Definitely one of the greatest ones and better ones out there still. Th wait, this movie came out in 1968 and it's still great today. Um, just like some other psychological uh, horror movies. And, you know, I'm a big horror movie fan. I, I like any horror movie genre. The slasher genre, uh, the monster genre of horror, even the psychological, which is probably my favorite out of the horror movie genre. Um, but yeah, um, Rosemary's Babies is, is definitely a film that I think you should check out. Um, I promise you, if you, I will not, this movie will not waste your time. This movie does n will not waste your time, and if you pay close attention, like I said, you will appreciate this movie and what it brings, and the messages it brings, and what it offers, and stuff like that. And you'll find this a pretty neat horror, uh, you'll find this a pretty neat psychological horror film that you and your family will enjoy. And I'm gonna give Rosemary's Baby a well-deserved A+. Thank you guys so much for always tuning in, and just so you know, I'm going to do some more horror movie reviews. The next horror movie review I'm planning on doing is The Birds by Alfred Hitchcock, The People Under the Stairs, Lights Out. I want to do Final Destination, I'm going to do Seed of Chucky, and then I'm going to do Cult of Chucky um, when it comes out, or maybe before it comes out too. Maybe before Cult of Chucky comes out, I might do a review of it. Um, I'm, I was thinking of doing a spoilers review of Cult of Chucky, I don't know, but I'm not positive about that. I'm gonna do Don't Breathe Sometime, uh, let's see, some other new horror movies, and yeah, I thank you guys so much, you guys are the best, I love every single one of you, keep on remembering that, like I said, thank you guys for 300 subscribers, I don't know how many times I'm gonna keep on saying that, and also stay tuned for my Luigi's Mansion movie uh, that I'm making, I uploaded a trailer for it, it's gonna be on LuigiFan520, if you guys don't know who he is, check him out, awesome guy. Um, yes, he's a YouTuber. He's small, though. I think he has 19 subscribers, but still, support him. Thank you guys for watching my movie review of Rosemary's Baby. Thank you guys for showing me love to any content I make. You guys are the best. I love every single one of you. You guys just keep on watching and watching and watching. And thank you guys so much for showing me support and love. And as always, I am MarioFan520, and I will see you next time. Peace out.